Hi Rockstar family, how's it going? <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am a complete hot mess today. Everything just went wrong. But it's okay, because you know what? I figured it out. I did what I had to do. And we're moving on. So what happened was, I was making a nice plate of gnocchi pasta. And I made a lot. And I went to go dump the water out, and instead of getting a, what's it called, um, a strainer, I just like held the lid and I tried to let the water go, and I don't know what happened, and I lost the lid and then I lost half of the pasta inside the sink, and I'm a germaphobe, and I'm just like, I ain't touching that shit, so there was stuff left over from inside the pot, so I just used that, and that's kind of what I had left. I still have a lot of food. We have mashed potatoes, green beans, and chicken breast. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clean this fork, spoon, put some parmesan. Parmigiano Reggiano Italian cheese because you have to have cheese on these four pieces of what we call gnocchi. So good. Okay, that's good. Then we got to mix up the mashed potatoes here because I put butter. Can't have mashed potatoes without butter. Which I think I should have got the container of butter here, but it's okay. I don't need it. It's whatever. And then I made nachos again. I, I love them so much. Alrighty, well, not like I haven't already, but let's dig in. I, of course, got my sauces. For my chicken breast. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. I have a good day today. It's just like everything is like, like I'm just excuse my language, but fucking up. You know, like doing stupid, like like stupid stuff because I'm trying to be impatient or I'm like cutting corners and it's just like really. And you know, I got so frustrated. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to make a video uh, because then I forgot to charge my camera and I'm like, now what? So I'm using my, my laptop. So sorry guys, the quality ain't the best, but I'm doing a video. So let's mix this around. I love pasta with cheese. A lot of, mmm, that sauce is good. A lot of hardcore Italians. They actually won't put cheese in their pasta. And if they do and they put cheese, that means they're not too crazy about the sauce. I've learned that. Can you guys see that? It's good. And I guess, you know, I got enough food here. I had an early start today, which I kind of loved because then I got to, you know, leave work a little bit early. <clears throat> which is always good, but that's chicken breast. Very good. So, as I said, I hope you guys are having had a great day today. I was in meetings for mostly most of the day today, but learned a lot, which was good.
Got to come home a little bit early and just play with Rocky. <coughs> so I'm trying out something with Rocky. He's got a rash on um, one on the other side of his tummy. And I've brought him to the vet like countless times and you know, they said it's never an easy fix. We gotta try him on different foods. Give him medication, sprays, and I'm just like, all this shit can't be healthy for the dog. So I did some research, and a lot of pet owners have actually tried vegan diets for their dog. And, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, but they say in any kind of food you give your dog, you should always gradually put a little bit less every day of the old food and a little bit more of the new food. So that was the plan. The first day I brought this vegan diet dog food home for Rocky. Can I tell you? He absolutely loves this food. It's only been a week. Well, yeah, about a week. And I don't know, he's just he's already like I don't know how to explain it. I've noticed like a big difference in him scratching. Like he's not scratching as often. I have to tell him stop scratching. So I'm praying that this, you know, food works. It's got everything that he needs to be a good, normal, healthy dog. So I'm really excited. Um, but... So let's see what happens. The doc- the rocker- the rocker. The- the veterinarian doctor he put Rocky on um, royal canine the food stinks he only ate it because he had no choice because the doctor said to me we have to find out what the cause is so we're gonna give him this food. You can't give him any treats, right? If you wanna reward him, you gotta reward him with some of the Royal Canine dog food. That killed me right off the bat. Cause I like to give him treats. But he's like, for three months, it's actually six. For three months, put him on this food, absolutely nothing else. Oh my god, guys. I nearly flipped at the den at the dentist. I gotta go to the dentist. I have to make an appointment. I just remembered. I like literally flipped on the veterinarian because just like humans, in order to test for reactions, well, humans they scratch with different things to see if the skin reacts. Then he just kept kind of scratching and scratching and scratching to get like the skin cells and like he started to bleed oh my god that bothered me so much he's like don't worry it's normal and I'm like yo listen don't make my dog bleed and then of course Rocky's looking right at me like yo tell you letting them do this to me for I thought you loved me. I'm just like, oh my god. 
Anyways, he came back with no kind of skin issues. He has no internal anything. There's just something that he's either around or he eats that he's allergic to. So, they gave me this special kind of royal canine. He's hated it since the first day I brought it home. I automatically knew saw a difference in his skin and his and his uh, hair. And I'm like, screw it. I waited three months, and I didn't notice any big changes. So I called the vet. I'm like, yo, I don't like this food. He don't like this food. I did some research. There's this food that I found. It's all vegan diet. Great ingredients. I want to try it. So I said, okay, go ahead. However, I highly recommend that we keep them on the Royal Canine. Because it takes time. I said, well, I don't want to do it. So, let's see what happens. It's already been a week. He's loving the food. And I mean, like, within minutes, it's gone. It's crazy. Get it? As long as he's happy and he enjoys the food, that's all that matters to me. I don't care. And with my dog, with Rocky, you get 20 minutes. The food goes down for 20 minutes. You don't finish it, food goes away. No, no, no. I know some people, they, they leave the dog food like, and then the dog just nibbles at it here and there. No, no. Rocky knows he's got to finish all up his food in 20 minutes. It's a good, it's a good, like, dogs, they need routines. Well, my dog needs a routine anyway. And he's a king. He eats before I do. That's my main priority. He's got to eat first. Once he's eaten, he's settled down. Then I eat. But then he wants my food. No, no. Ain't happening. You got your food. And guys, this food ain't cheap. Mind you, I mean, I don't care what it costs to buy the dog, best dog food, period. But, let's talk. A bag like this is what? 60 bucks? Where are the normal bags that size? $28, 30 bucks. Peas. Beans, I should say. Mmm. So good. If you have animals, guys, 
you got to do your research on the different types of dog foods. I know for me, I want to change the dog food every once in a while. Hell, would you like eating the same shit every day? Fuck no. So why should he be any different? You know? I love it when brands have like different flavors and things like that. But now I'm doing this vegan thing, I don't know if they have that same option. Option. And the doctor, when I brought him in, I don't know, a week or two ago, no, about two, two weeks ago. He's like, oh, Walker is using weight. I'm like, hmm. I thought so. I'm like, it's probably like I can't deal with this food no more. Because you always used to leave a little behind. <clears throat> and then because I felt bad, I'd break my rule and I'd leave it just a little bit longer to see, right? No. Nope. Didn't want it. Now, before when I used to, like, Before we noticed all these issues, we were feeding them this dog food called Now. And then we did, what is it, turkey and duck. So, as soon as I put out the container of dog food, he'd go psycho. Run up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and just go bark, go crazy. And then he'd sit right next to his his bowl, and he'd wait for me. Then I switched him to Royal Cannon. He did that for the first couple weeks, and then afterwards he wasn't too excited. Now with this dog food, it's like he's ecstatic about this food food. He loves it. He enjoys it so much, I've never. He burps now. I'm like, one day I was like, what the hell is that noise? So first day I'm like, okay, I must be hearing things. Second day, he swallowed the whole thing in one go. Like, he ate all the dog food in one go. And then that's the big belch. I'm like, eh, nice. So, I think he's liking it. Cross fingers. It's all very good ingredients. No byproducts. So I'm excited. I didn't even touch my beans. Okay guys, well I'm done.
thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you, my Rockstar family, for continuing to support and, you know, watch my videos. To all you newcomers, welcome to the family. So glad to have you. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I love you all very much. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.